How was your Christmas? Was it everything that you wanted it to be? Um, mine was disappointing. Because on Christmas Eve, I tested positive for COVID. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. Gutted for loads of reasons. Gutted because we had three days of, of family stuff planned that all got cancelled. We, um, I hadn't, didn't even have any symptoms really. Um, the symptoms that I had, I thought were from my booster, and they weren't. Um, uh, disappointing because I had my son down, and I. Uh, he came back for Christmas and I barely got to see him disappointing because all of the things that we had planned we couldn't do uh, and I spent most of Christmas kind of in a room having to isolate away from other people because we've got people in our family who are vulnerable and I didn't want to pass that on so I just thought I'd do this video because as I reflect there are kind of five things that I have been reflecting on that were really helpful for me in terms of how do you deal with that sense of disappointment um, and and maybe it's you know maybe this is something that has happened to you maybe you had COVID over Christmas or maybe you've had COVID and it led to something being cancelled or being let down or or maybe it's not that and maybe it's something else which has just caused a disappointment and I'm just going to share five things that I think would be helpful and hope they'll be helpful for you the, the first one is make the best of the situation so um there were definite tears shed with people in our family like we were disappointed but we quickly moved into okay how do we still make this a great christmas how do we still celebrate this how do we have fun together um whatever that looks like and so there was an old tv in the house been sat there for a while we tried to get rid of it a few times but it's still there and i kind of grabbed that chucked that in a room that i was in i grabbed the xbox and i was like right this is this is me i'm kind of set up now for the next few days um my wife uh, did the the christmas dinner she never made a christmas dinner she made a christmas dinner um, and uh, my, my, my family kind of quickly moved into how do we still have a good time and I was really like how do you actually like just remembering that Jesus is at the center of Christmas and so how do I how can I still worship and celebrate Christmas even though it's not what I look like so make the best of the situation the second one is count your blessings count your blessings because even when we're disappointed even when things haven't gone wrong we can still remember the good things in our life so you know i had a roof over my head i had a bed to sleep in i had food uh, available to me you know my my family weren't able to come close but they were still there um i had friends who contacted me and and they were like offering to help if we needed anything you know and we, we had a christmas dinner that's the thing like and that was we were supposed to go away for christmas day and boxing day with family so we weren't expecting to cook but i had a chance conversation with with somebody like the day before who said oh we might be in lockdown so i'm going to get a bit extra food and make sure i've got a uh, some uh, christmas dinner just in case i need to make it and i was like do you know what that's not a bad shout i'm gonna do that as well just in case and there we go it, it happened and uh, I'm, I'm like i just feel like that was a that was provision from god really like to prompt that and to make me prepared so um you know that might look different for you but there are always things that we can be grateful for and so it's really really important count your blessings the third thing is to rest to rest um or maybe not to rest but be kind to yourself yeah, just, just look after yourself. When we're faced with disappointment, it's really important that we just kind of, like, we care for ourselves. Uh, and for me, it was like, I just, like, I had the Xbox on quite a lot. Um, I also did some other things, like I like painting, so I made sure I had my painting supplies with me. Um, I watched a lot of Netflix, and they're all things that usually I'd squeeze in or I might feel a bit guilty about doing those things. And I just said, you know what, this, this is me. This is what I'm doing for six, eight, ten hours a day. Like, and that's okay just be kind to yourself um, when you're feeling uh, disappointed um, you know it's really hard when you when you kind of like when you 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 feel that loss of control and and, and that can be really frustrating um, you can feel angry about those kinds of things but it's so it's really important just to be kind to yourself 
the fourth thing is just to get your head right get your head right okay um there were times where i you know i counted my blessings i made the best of the situation or it was restful looked after myself and yet i still felt <sighs> depressed is the wrong word but definitely felt low on some days like if you tested negative on day six or day seven you could come out of isolation early i was still testing positive on day 10 like i had to do the full kind of isolation period and i felt kind of like upset angry frustrated annoyed and when that happened and i felt low then i just became a bit miserable started saying negative things like i was then affecting other people i was having conversations with and i was like okay i've got to get my head right here this isn't this is not okay um because it's not helpful for me it's not helpful for the people around me um you know and and i had to get my head right and and so I, I couldn't, can't go out for a walk, but I came out in my garden. I had a, there was a day where it wasn't too cold outside, or at least it wasn't raining. It wasn't raining, so I went outside, and I like just chopped wood. I was like, I was just a bit angry, so I was like, I'm just going to chop wood. Uh, and in that anger, I kind of poured out my heart to God, and was like, God, you know. Feel like i've missed out on fun stuff i've been ill on my holiday this is not fair rah, 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 rah. and then i started to worship and worship is a really powerful thing like i just had youtube on my phone and and just sang praises to god and and in that it helps you to remember that god is still good that he has sacrificed an awful lot for me that he sent his son jesus to me for for me for my life he's given me a new life, a relationship with him. Like I'm, I'm not a good person. I know I'm a sinful person, and Jesus took that stuff on the cross and died for me, and and it just helped me remember God is good, and I have much to be grateful for. And so the pain of this situation is like nothing compared to what He went through, and in that place of like of worship and prayer. Um, you, know, you just feel differently and your head is in a different place and I, all I did is just came outside for about half an hour an hour and just kind of like rah, 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 got my head in the right place and and then things felt you just get things in better perspective the fifth thing is hold on to hope because there's a danger when we've been disappointed when we put something in place and, and we wanted to do that thing and then it's got cancelled or shut down or stopped uh, the disappointment of that makes us feel like oh, what a waste of time I'm not going to do, bother doing that again and you know I even hear that in you know, the conversations i have with people that they're saying oh well we could do this but pff, we we, might, we probably won't be able to will we and it's that sense of probably won't be probably won't be able to do that probably wouldn't do that thing and so we're we're, we're holding off on making plans and 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 part of that is is because we just don't want to face the disappointment and and um i just think like i don't know like i'm not sure that's the right thing to do i think we should be planning stuff in i think we should be saying let's 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 try and make that happen let's hold on to hope the hope that we can do it but let's hold it lightly as well like if it doesn't happen hey case or us or it doesn't happen like it's okay it's not the end of the world so let's keep hoping that we can do but if it doesn't it doesn't because actually if you plan enough stuff in if you have some fun stuff going you know for this year and you get it in the diary you plan it in make the best of, of life like not all of it will happen in the way that you think it will happen but some of it will do and some of it may even exceed your expectations and and and, and so it's better to have that than to have nothing and and if that if that's not something that you feel that you can do well just ask god for joy ask god for joy just just ask him for it because you know i you know this this life is not it this life is not it right like, there is there is a life beyond this life and and, and one day jesus is going to return jesus will come back and all of all of problems pain and difficulties will be gone and we'll have a new life without pain without disappointment without covid uh, and and life will just be good so hold on to hope hope hold on to hope um because one day life will be free from all this madness
anyway i hope that's helpful five things that uh that i learned in dealing with disappointment um feel free if this has been helpful give it a like um subscribe to our channel um maybe pop in the comments like did you get covid over christmas how did you deal with that disappointment uh, is there any advice that you could offer to other people as well okay i hope 2022 is a brilliant year for you spread love not jabs.